How to add You May Also Like on Shopify product page. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. I'll be showing you two ways to do this. The first option is, once on your Shopify admin page, you go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select online store. After selecting online store, you want to select themes. Once on the themes page, you are going to tap on customize beside the theme that you are using. After doing that, you are going to be redirected to the editors page as you can see right here. And from the top right where you see home page, I want you to tap on that and you are going to select products. Then you are going to tap on default product. And from here, you will be able to add you may also like to your Shopify product. But there is one pullback, so be sure to watch this video until the end. By scrolling down on the left hand menu option, you will see template. And this is everything that is on your product page. And you can see right here, related products. And if you do not see related products, see related products. What I would recommend you do is tap on add section and from there you could search for the related products section and you could add it. But Shopify automatically adds it. As I was saying the only pullback with this is you don't have any choice in editing what type of products are shown on which product page. So Shopify automatically uses an algorithm or so on to select which product to show. You don't have a lot of options around that. But I'll be showing you a workaround on how you can choose which product to be shown on your product page. The first thing you will need to do is go back into your admin page. Then you are going to tap on apps in the bottom right left hand corner better yet. Once you have selected apps, you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on app and sales channel settings. After doing that, you are going to tap on Shopify app store. Once you are on the Shopify app store page, I want you to tap on the search bar at the top right here. And you are going to type in how to add you may also like. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And the app that I would recommend you will use is related products as you can see right here. As this is completely free and it also has a high ratings. All you are going to do now is tap on add app. After you have selected add app, you will see the option to tap on install app in the top right hand corner. You are going to tap on that. Once the app is installed, you will see right here, you are one minute away and you are going to tap on enable in the app embeds. You want to ensure that it is enabled as you can see right here. Then you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once it has been saved, you are going to go back in to the dashboard and you are going to tap on let's go. After tapping on let's go, you can choose the name right here. As you can see, give it a name and you can see how it looks right there. And you can also see other text. So you can edit any one of these. So if you would like to change the name from recommended frequently bought, you can choose the name right there. And if you would like to change this from frequently bought together, you can also change that. As you can see right here, this is where frequently bought together will be. And you can scroll down and after scrolling down you can select the style that you want at the moment you can see they are using the amazon style if you would like to use the grid style you could tap on grid style and you can see how the grid style looks right here and you can also select the list style if you want but i would select the amazon style at the moment as i think that it looks more appealing after you have done that, you will have the option to select products. All you have to do is tap right there. Then you can choose store products or you can choose most sold products or most profitable products or you can choose recommended products autopilot 
or you can simply add any one of your new arrivals so that means that the last product that is added to your Shopify store will automatically be recommended as the frequently bought together so for this example I'll tap on choose store products after you have tapped on choose store products you can scroll down and from here you will see the option select products so you're going to simply tap right there then it is going to show you all of the products on your Shopify store and you can scroll down and you can select the product that you would like to use for example this one then I'll tap on continue with selected product after you have done that you can select whether you would like to offer a discount so let's say I want to offer a 10% discount so I'll select that and you can see the discount price is worked out as you can see right there then after doing that you can scroll down and would you like to also add a timer if so you can tap right here and you could add a countdown timer so you can see a countdown timer has now been added and you can edit the minutes so let's say you want it to be 60 minutes so you can see right there it will start counting down and also if you would like to allow fbt product quantity you can do that choose the minimum amount the minimum quantity of products that can be added to your chart you can tap right there and you can do that and you can also edit the advanced settings so would you like to show this option on all devices or only on desktop or mobile you can select that also and you can also choose you can see embedded widget settings you are going to tap right there where would you like to see it before container or after the container you can select any one of these options after you are finished you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner and then you will see display on any product you can enable this or you can disable it you can see it is enabled as the moment and you can also see display on only specific products if you like to enable that you can or only products from specific collections you can enable that if you want once you have done that you can scroll down and if you would like to set any rules you can do that also then you'll simply tap on save after tapping on save you can scroll up and from here you can select publish after you finish doing that you'll be redirected to this page and to see how it looks on your store all you have to do now you could go into themes then from here you will see online store and you are going to tap on view your online store once on your online store you can scroll down and you can select any product so let's say for example this product right here then by scrolling down you can see frequently bought together right here so you can see the option right there and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe